All right, hello, ladies and gentlemen. Um, they, them, and they. Hello, ladies, gentlemen, and they, thems, and anyone else. <laughs> I was trying to say they, them, y'all already know where I was going with that, but what's inside the box, bro? I had a shirt, I had a whole fit, but then I got hot and I took my shirt off and I was already over here ready to record, so like, I'm not gonna go put my shirt back on, so I'm not trying to intentionally be shirtless. I just, this is what you get. What is in this box, you ask? It's something I've been waiting. Honestly, I didn't even wait for it that long. Shout out MSO because their production times are quick, baby, quick. I didn't have to wait that long. I literally ordered it like a week and a half ago, max. And it's already here. From Europe, I want to say. Yeah, Europe. But what I have in here is a pack and play. I'm showing it to y'all now because if I show it to y'all later, like I'm not going to show it to y'all later um, after I... You know what I'm saying? I claim it, make it mine, use it. Because then that's my dick for real, for real. Like, I don't want to just show y'all my dick for real like that. So, I'm going to show y'all right now. While it is still a prosthetic. An unused prosthetic. And not my actual fucking dick. I swear, it changes. The the molecular structure changes once I enter, once I enter vagina, bro. Or once it goes in someone's mouth. My girlfriend's mouth, of course. But. Dude, it's hard to get it open. And yeah, it comes in a box. Uh, it's really discreet. It just says fragile. It doesn't say like there's a penis in this box or like anything like that. So that's a plus. Also sipping on some watermelon juice. Um, doing a little fast right now. A juice fast, fruit fast. Um, I've been fasting since 12 a.m. last night. Actually, cap. I had watermelon. Well, that counts. I've been drinking and only eating fruit since 12 a.m. yesterday, and it's now 6 o'clock p.m. Okay, this is the packaging. Let me show you. I'm just, um, it just says ultra realistic, change your life, amazing feeling, just like some logo words. What the fuck is that? What the fuck is that? Bo, 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 bo. What the fuck is that? What the fuck is that? That's how I step on, nigga. Once the plastic is open, no exchanges. So, when to, if you open the plastic, you can't exchange it. All right. I've already ordered an MSO before. I've had an MSO on a Road Magic, so this is not like new to me. I'm not like, you know. All right, we got Brody in the front, sick ass fit. <laughs> this is like a pamphlet. It says like how to wear, safety instructions, how to avoid damage, all that. Very useful. But here's what we're really here for. Oh my god. And they always give you a pen. I used to have this in my room when I first got it. Like, and it just has a dick on it. Like, it's funny. Okay. Oh my god. This shit kind of small. But I'm kind of, oh my god, this shit's small. Bro, okay. I'm gonna just say that honestly, I was kind of scared getting it because I'm used to getting like eight inches, seven and a half inches. This one is five and a half inches, so two inches down than what I'm usually used to. And I got this because honestly, I feel like, oh yeah, I got this because honestly, like, I would get the bigger ones not because I wanted it necessarily, but like, yeah, I wanted it to be like macho, like, oh, I got a big dick, blah blah. But I would get it because like I'm black, and I was like, if I'm black. I, I like played into the stereotype that black people have like big dicks, but I don't I kind of want to see what this is about because The weight on the bigger ones is insane. Like it's over a pound So when I'm like having sex, I just feel like weight in my pants type type vibe plus Rico move What's she doing? Move Yeah, like the weight is heavy and then I feel like too just having it like I just didn't want to be so far apart from my partner when I come out type shit like when I come out I'm like eight seven inches far from her type shit so yeah i'm trying to i'm trying out a smaller a smaller dick bro to see how i feel and i'm putting aside my stereotypical i'm black i have to have a big dick so any of my black trans dudes out there like you don't have to have the biggest dick bro just because you're black like fuck that shit bro like if you now if you go and get it because you want to that's one thing but don't feel like oh i need a big ass dick because i'm black you know what i mean like it depends how you feel if i didn't like how that felt and i'm like aware of it now i'm like I've only been getting like seven and above because I'm, I'm black. So yeah, this is what it looks like. It's a like skin color 14 and it's the ER05. I also had them, um, I had them, what's it called? Oh, they, they made a pleasure pocket for me because 
I've gotten I got real matched because they actually have the pleasure pocket and I put my my uh, my natural dick in there and it feels bomb because like you know so I asked them if they could I emailed them and asked could you add a pleasure pocket to mine after I purchased it and they said yes and there's literally a pleasure pocket here Rico get away get away move move all right this shit is cr this shit feels different. I forgot about how MSL felt, bro. Damn. Look at the pleasure pocket. Let me see. Look at what they did. This is a pleasure pocket. So I'll put my weenie in there and it just like hits against that when I'm hitting when um when I'm hitting it. Hmm, there's some little discoloration. Y'all see that? I mean it's not it doesn't matter like that because no one's gonna see the back part. Cause this is all that's gonna be shown. I don't know what that's from. Maybe just production. I'm not tripping though. This is beautiful. Whoa. So yeah, this is what it looks like. Honestly, I'm kind of taken back cause it's small. I'm not gonna lie. I'm taken back. This shit feels hella realistic though. Like, look at the head. Like, I've had heads where they like, they're super, super hard. Where like, it feels like, just not good. But this is like hard, but it's soft. Like it's realistic. It's more realistic type vibe. This is kind of fire. So if you just hold it like that, it hangs down a little bit, but it's not like droopy. And I also got this because it's more packable. So like. If I'm in the car or something like that, and I want to just whip out my dick, I can. But packing with, like, an 8-inch dick is kind of hard. See what I'm saying? Like, this is easier to just conceal compared to, like, a dick that I got to, like, it's, like, like this type shit. But I still have a 7-inch one, so I'm not too sad about it. Like, it still works. So, if I do want to pop out the big guns. I feel like that was my problem. I just don't have multiple dicks. Like, I only have one, which is a big-ass one. But now I have one that's, like, a medium size, so I can, like, bust this boy out. But, yeah. Honestly, this is just my first impressions, and I'm not gonna lie, it's just a change for me because I'm used to big ass dicks. But um, I'm gonna see how it works first of all, like, cause I got it for the fact of like having sex. So let me see how that is, and then I'll get back to y'all with the with the review, with the review, with the review. Should I add it the review to this part? Maybe, but yeah. Okay, I can still do damage with this though. I ain't even tripping. Oh yeah. This is fire. And it matches my skin complexion too. I usually, I use it more on my leg, but I mean, y'all see like, like it's, it's my skin tone. This is dope, bro. The balls feel crazy. I do like how this feels 100% more than um, Real Magic. Real Magic is dope too, but this is so cool. Like I keep touching it. Like it's so, like it's more lifelike. In a sense, to me, because I literally have real magic, so I'm used to that. Um, uh, I can't wait to use it. I'm gonna let y'all know, man. So this is me testing out the waters with a smaller dick. Like I don't know what to expect. I gotta see what's up when I have sex. And when I pack with it, I think I'm gonna pack with it right now. Um, and see how it feels. So yeah, I'm gonna call my girlfriend. <laughs> I'm gonna link you with her. But yeah, y'all. Um. I'll see y'all in the review or in the next video. I'm not sure. Later. Oh, wait. The price was... This was... 300 something, or $400? Around there. You guys can look it up on MSO.com. This is the ER05 again. All right. I'll catch y'all. I'm giving yellow energy today. You feel me? All right. So it is the next day. Um, I just got out of class. I'm gonna go to the store. But I know I owe y'all a review of the ER05. The pepper. It's called the the pepperoncini, bro. Like, fuck, you gotta call my dick pepperoncini for it. But that's what it's called. Uh, my big dog down here. What, Dougie? Hey, Dougie. Hey, big Dougie. Hey, big Dougie. 
Okay. So yeah. Um. Basically, look. I was. I told y'all in the beginning. I got a couple of points down here. Let me check them off as I go. So number one, fear. I told y'all I was fearful because I was like, this shit is small. I'm used to having the. It's a hair. I'm used to having the eight inch monster. The seven point five. The seven point damn my paper's all written on. I'm used to having the seven point five big thing, you feel me? Like I'm used to having the seven point five big thing, you feel me? So to not have that is just like what is this gonna what is this gonna be? Is she gonna like it? Am I gonna like it? Am I, is is it even gonna I literally my biggest fear was like is it even gonna get in? Like am I even gonna make it past the 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 point of, of where I need to be at? And to my surprise, to my surprise, the sex was the same. When I say the same, I mean like it didn't feel like she wasn't satisfied and I was still hidden. I was still, you know what I'm saying? I was still, I was still in there. I was still in there. So yeah, the biggest differences that I could say is obviously like I was closer to her because I can't, like, with my other one, I could come out like this and then, like, you know what I'm saying? Because I have seven inches to work with, but with, like, five, it's five and a half inches. So, with five and a half inches, I'm more. But that's low-key fire because, like, I'm close as fuck and I'm just, like, like, it's, I don't know, that shit fire. So, honestly, if you're looking for something where you want to be closer to your partner, then the ER05 is for you. Another difference I noticed is uh, it's obviously smaller, but all positions still work. Like, I can hit it from the back. I can, I was hitting it on her back, um, on her stomach. Like, all types of positions, it was still working. I was still in, able to get, like, like, it was fire, bro. Like, it didn't seem like it was different. Like, homegirl, she was still, you know, she still got off. She was still, here we go, stop. She was still busting her nuts and shit. I was busting my nuts, so it's like, and the pleasure pocket actually felt fire. Like every time I would, like you know what I'm saying, it felt like, like it felt good, bro. So honestly, my doubts and all that, um, don't be scared. You know, if you if you want a smaller one, like how if you're in my situation or you're thinking about it, just do it, bro. I say this model it is less girthy and less and longer than other models, but it's not like terrible. It just at first it looks like, bro. Like, if you're used to a bigger model, it's going to be like, bro, what the fuck is this? Like, this looks like, like, I really spent 400 bucks on this. Like, this is literally like a finger. That's how I felt. I was like, I just spent so much money. And this doesn't even look like it's going to go in here. Like, it doesn't even look like I'm going to have any room to, like, to hit it, bro. But rest assured, it's fire. Um, Yeah. I did what made me scared, too, though, before sex was because I used, like, these, um, underwear that i can use for play but the way that the underwear position like it makes the dick go down so it makes it look even smaller than it is so i'm just like nah but then when i use my favorite harness ever the only thing i don't like about it is it has velcro but honestly i don't give a fuck about that because like you feel like like it's my shit like if the harness is so secure on you that it feels so good it's the spare parts jock harness j-o-q-e let me write that down for y'all in case y'all want to get it it's J-O-Q-E, because spare parts, they have a lot of different harnesses, but this is the specific one. It's, I hope y'all can see that. J-O, J-O-Q-E, Jacques, J-O-Q-E. So I hope you can get it. Um, yeah, that shit's fire. The harness, it's like a hundred bucks. I think I went over this in my other um, video I did about like all the pro all the prosthetics I had, but this is a specific review about the ER05 Pepperone Training by Emma Sale. Emma Sale. So honestly, yeah, y'all, um, don't be scared. It was fire. Um, yeah, if you have any specific questions, let me know, but it, it was fire. Um, pretty much what I have to say. Also, this is not going to be like my only prosthetic. Like I have other prosthetics. Like I have the bigger one that I have. So if I do want to just be awesome, like some big daddy shit then i can but it's also nice to have this because i told y'all too when one reason i wanted it is like say we're going out to dinner or somewhere we're going here or somewhere like that you know what i'm saying you know what I'm saying? you know <laughs> you know what i'm saying like if we're going somewhere and then like you know what i'm saying like i might want to bust it out like after dinner or something like i can because Packing with it doesn't feel like I have like a freaking arm in my pants. It feels like I got like a regular little 
regular little song. song. <laughs> Hold on, I'm finna lose my order. Oh, no, I'm good. But yeah, y'all, it's fire. And it did what I wanted to do. I just wanted a little song, song to be able to. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, I'm happy because it went good. Like, y'all see my face, bro. I was worried. That was the face of Christian being like, I fucked up. I, I bought this. And I, and then I opened the plastic. And I don't know if y'all see, but when I said, if you open the plastic, you can't return it. So I opened the plastic and I was like, fuck. Once the plastic is open, no exchanges. So when, if you open the plastic, you can't exchange it. All right. I got to keep this shit now. Like, I, I can't return it. I opened the plastic. It's contaminated. It's contaminated. But it's all good. Shout out, God. It worked out. I'm being so serious. Shout out, God. For but yeah, I'm finna go to the store. I just wanted to make this video after class for y'all real quick and let y'all know. This is for the boys, you feel me? This is for the mass, the mass peeps out there. Because you may not identify as a man or a boy or whatever. But if you're slinging dick, then you got to be some type of mask. Am I wrong? Am I wrong? Like, if you slinging prost like a dead-ass prosthetic, like... I feel like if I was like, like I wouldn't give a fuck. I would just buy like a dildo or something if I was just like not hella mask or not a dude. But I buy prosthetics because it's literally a dick. And I'm like a dude and I'm hella mask. So I need that. You know what I'm saying? Like I don't think, like, because they make these prosthetics for literally trans men and like mask people. So, like, that's the market. Like, I've never heard of a cis girl being like, I'm finna go buy a prosthetic. Like, girl, why? Anyways. That was my little rant. Imagine, this is not to shame any cis people that buy prosthetics though. Like, I don't know, maybe you wanted, maybe you just got an extra 600 bucks laying around and you wanted to go out and buy you a seven and a half inch realistic, super realistic um, penis. You know, that's 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 your business. <laughs> it's not mine. <laughs> so, yeah. All right, I'm finna go to the store, y'all. I'm too geeked, but yeah. Peace out, y'all. Drink your kombucha. This is a reminder, drink your kombucha, y'all. Drink your freaking kombucha. Mm. It's so good. Toodles.